Welcome to today's Code Conversation. I'm Ian Curry, a RealPython team member, and I'm going to be having a conversation with Martin Broyce, who's another RealPython team member. Hi, everyone. Every week, for our subscribers, we hold an informal hangout session that we call Office Hours. In these sessions, we hop on a video call and chat about anything Python or programming related. Recently, a subscriber was asking about some strange function parameters that they noticed. While chatting about it, we all learned something, and we thought it would be a great topic to discuss in a code conversation. So in this conversation, Martin and I will be exploring special function parameters. Martin and I will be chatting in a VS Code live share session, so sometimes you'll be able to see Martin's cursor jump around the screen to highlight something. The special function parameters are the forward slash and asterisk. These allow you to control how you want a function to be used. Specifically, it allows you to define what parameters should be called as positional-only arguments, keyword-only arguments, or a mix of both. Now, before jumping in, we're going to disambiguate some terminology. The function on screen now is called hello. It's a function that is defined with one parameter called name. This function takes the name and then prints hello name. So, if the function is called with an argument of Pythonista, for example, the expected output would be hello Pythonista. Now, did you notice the terminology I used for defining the function and using the function? Technically speaking, when you define the function, you define parameters. And then when you call a function, you call it with arguments. In this case, you define hello with a parameter of name. And then when you call it, you call it with an argument of Pythonista. However, in informal conversation, it's common to hear the terms parameter and argument used interchangeably, probably leaning towards using just argument for both cases. With that, it's time to get stuck into special function parameters. So I've got four functions here, and I'm loaded into an IPython interactive session. I have access to all these functions, and we're going to just play around with them and call them with positional arguments, with keyword arguments, and see what happens. So the first function is standard. And as you see, we've got, in all cases, we've got an x, y, and z parameter that are set with default values to 1. So that means we can call standard, for instance, with nothing, and it will just use the default values. We're not doing anything with any of these functions. We're just passing. So as long as there are no errors, we're doing everything OK. With the standard way, you can also name them. And that works fine as well. You can't do things like have a positional one after the keyword argument. And that's nothing to do with this syntax exactly. It's just you can't ever have a positional argument that is something without a keyword or a named argument that comes after. So what you maybe want to show here too, before we go into this, is like how you would call the standard function with actual just positional arguments. Because if... Right. I think you only showed it with the keyword arguments now. Right. Yeah, I skipped out that part. So you can call it with just your standard positional arguments. And yeah, and this last example was just something I wanted to sort of draw attention to that you can't have the positional arguments after keyword arguments. And do you still call these positional arguments when you give them default values? How do you mean call the values? Like if I look at this standard function and I see this x equals one, mm -hmm. like when I look at this, the, like up here, yeah, the first thing I think about is that these are keyword arguments because they have the equal sign in between. Right. They can be keyword arguments, but they can also be positional arguments. Mm -hmm. So like a, just a pure positional argument, I could also do this. So I would have X as a positional argument right. without a default value. Yes, but then you'd have to provide that with a value when you're calling it. So if you go back up to the top one, if I had this as just X, you could also call that as a keyword argument, as X equals one. You could call that as a positional argument with just one, but you wouldn't be able to skip it. Mm -hmm. 
So what really distinguishes in terms of the function definition with the parameters in there? What, what really distinguishes a positional argument from a keyword argument? Good question. Let's maybe create a couple more functions here. So what should we call this? Like no defaults, standard no defaults. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Quit here. All right. So if we look at standard no default, mm -hmm. you can actually pass in those arguments as keyword arguments, right? Mm -hmm. And you can also do it as just plain plain old positional arguments as well. Mm -hmm. And you can do a combination, and you can actually do a combination with all three of these standard functions, except with standard defaults, where all of them have defaults, you can call them without any arguments because they're, they have defaults. Whereas if you have no defaults, you actually get name errors because... Oh, wait, that's default. not the right one. <laughs> default. <laughs> Type errors, because you need those three positional arguments. And here it's also really nice in the output, you can see that it's called positional arguments. Right. So despite the fact that they have this default values with the equal sign in between, which makes them look like you might expect them to be keyword arguments, there are still positional arguments in this case from Python's perspective. Yeah, the key distinction here is that for the function definition, they are parameters in the sense that the parameters are defined either as normal parameters. I think normal in this case is where they can be either a positional or keyword argument. But when you're calling the function, you're using either arguments or keyword arguments. Mm -hmm. So when you're defining the function, you use parameters. When you call the function, you use arguments. Nice. All right, so what's the new thing that we wanted to talk about here? Right. New as in parentheses, because I th at least the slash here was 3.8. The star might have been earlier, but Python 3.8 is really when all this sort of comes together. So looking at the first function here, positional only, putting the slash as if it were the last parameter in this function definition means that every parameter before that needs to be positional. So it can't be a keyword argument. And that's kind of a strange syntax that you don't really see much in Python, like just the slash used as an argument. Right. You might want to, you know, like put quotes around it or something like that if you see it like this. But that's actually valid syntax starting from 3.8 upwards. Exactly. Yeah, you might be tempted to do that, but it's the error you get. If you try to call the function with a keyword argument, you'll get a type error saying that some positional only arguments are passed as keyword arguments. So really, before this syntax, like we just explored before, there wasn't really any, a way to define something as a positional only argument, right? Because we did have the same function signature with positional arguments, but we were still always able to call them as keyword arguments as well when actually calling the function. Right. So new feature. 3.8 upwards. Now you can actually say this needs to be a positional argument, but you can still have the default values. Right, exactly. You can just call it without any input still, as you did before. Yeah, exactly. I think it just gives you a bit more of flexibility or it allows you to customize how you want this function to be called, how you want it to be used. Mm -hmm. 